Hey guys, we're gonna do 6.2 lesson check. So if you go to modules, and here it is, 6.2 lesson check. Um, it looks like you can work through these more than once. Again, we do have a test coming up at the end of the week, so make sure you um, know how to do each of these questions. Okay, so question number one, uh, we're gonna solve for XP, so let's do it. If I go to my notes here, let's zoom in. It says, um, this is eight. Okay, so we know that this distance and this distance, since it is a parallelogram, they don't say it, but these symbols would tell us it's a parallelogram. So that would be eight. And then they tell us X, Z, X, Z. This whole thing is seven X plus one. And then P, Z. Easy. This part is 4x minus 1. So we know that this part is this, just like I put an x here and an, an 8 there and an 8 there, I could put this 4x minus 1. So what we notice here is we could create a formula. We could say this first part, xp, plus the second part, pz, is equal to the whole thing, xz. Just like I could say here that 8 plus 8 is equal to the whole thing, 16. Same concept. Okay, so substituting this in, xp is 4x minus 1, pz, 4x minus 1, and the whole thing, xz, xz, is this term, 7x plus 1. All right, so let's combine some terms that are alike. So name minus 1 minus another 1. Right, and we're going to subtract 7x from both sides, and we'll add 2 to both sides. And this is just 1x, and we get x is 3. Okay, so plugging this back in, xp is 4x minus 1, so 4 times 3 minus 1 is 12 minus 1, or 11. Okay, so I think that's the first one. And we can double check this, right? This would plug in to make uh, three, and that would also be 11. So the whole thing would add together to be 22. So if x is three, seven times three plus one is 21 plus one is really 22. So that's how we know we got the answer right. Question number two. It says it is a parallelogram, so we know that opposite sides are congruent. So the two long sides are equal and the two short sides are equal. So we can figure out what X is and then solve. So, okay, let's see. It doesn't matter which one. So we'll just set, I guess, this, this top one, 9X minus 8, has to be equal to this, these, like the two long ones. Right, and we'll do that. Okay, x is three, so we can kind of work that around here. So we put in a three, and a three, and a three, and a three. Let's see what we get. So four times three, take away one, is 11. And three times three is nine plus two is 11. So we're feeling good about that. And then here we get seven times three, 21. Take away two is 19. And nine times three is 27. Take away eight, which is also 19. Okay, so that's, those are our lengths. And we just have to make sure we put them in the right. So PQ, PQ, we got 11. Q, R, we got 19. R, S, we got 11. And S, P, we got 19. Nice work. All right, question number three. Is LMO a parallelogram? Well, I think we did this um, in, in our homework. 
if I remember right. Yeah, our homework number eight, same picture. Opposite angles are supposed to be congruent. So in fact, this is actually a trapezoid. We had one of these in our um, regular work as well. So if we look here, it says, LM, is it a parallel, LMO, I'm not sure what you are selecting here, but is, is not a parallel because, no, I guess I'll go, but we said in class, one of the reasons is the opposite angles are not congruent. So let's see what my choices are here. Yeah, it's not a parallelogram because both pairs of opposite angles are congruent because all pairs of same side interior, oh, that'd be another reason. All pairs of same side interior angles are not supplementary. All pairs of same side interior are not supplementary. Okay, so all pairs of same side interior angles are not congruent, so that's why it can't be a parallelogram. So what do I mean by that? Well, these are supplementary. They add up to 180. These do not add up to 180. Notice these do. And once again, these do not. 93 plus 93 does not add up to 180. And Consecutive angles have to be uh, supplementary. So if you're thinking, well, I'm not sure what you mean by that. Well, in a true parallelogram, for instance, um, let's say this was 80 degrees, that's 100. That This acute one is 80, then that's 100. Notice as I work my way around, this adds up to 180, this adds up to 180, this adds up to 180, this adds up to 180. Consecutive angles have to add up to 180, and that's not happening here, so that's why it fails. Question number four. Okay, so again, it, what would it be if it was parallel? So if we assume it's parallel, then these would be equal. We normally subtract these, just kind of what we do. Don't have to do that first, but. Okay, so I got two. And um, what would A need to be? Well, these sides would also need to be equal. So for A, plus 3 equal to 2a plus 11. A is 4. We could plug that back in and check, but I'm just going to keep going. Okay. I think that's right. Okay, last question. It says, consider the convex, so regular old four-sided shape, so anything with four sides, right? Anything four-sided. Determine if the given information is sufficient to determine if it is a parallelogram. Hint, draw quadrilateral and the diagonals for reference. Okay, so here, case one, if it was, the little angle's 40, the big angle's 130, and the other little angle's 40. Now my challenge right off the bat, just like we said in um, two questions ago, is these are supposed to add up to 180, right? And they don't. So I'm gonna say um, no, right? And again, I'm not sure, what are, what are my choices exactly? Let's see. Go to the next question. It says, oh, just yes or no. Okay, so I'm gonna say no. And it, the reason though is that they add up to 170. So 170 is not 180. 
Now let's look at case two. It says, we, we like this a little bit better. It says A and B add up to 180 and C is 80. Now the challenge here is I could have this, right? These two numbers add up to 180 and that's actually what a trapezoid looks like where these both, an isosceles trapezoid, these both would be 180 or 80 and this could be 100. So notice, I'm going to have to say no, not necessarily, because I could draw something other than a quadrilateral, and that would still be true. All right, let's look at case number three. So case number three, if we had AB is equal to CD, and BC is equal in length to AD, then I think that would force... Um, this to be a parallelogram, I'm going to say yes. Okay, case four. What if angle B, so my little angle, my acute angle is 70, A, and D is 70, okay, and C, is 110. This one I might say yes, but I kind of don't like, once again, I'm, I am I don't like the order of, of what they've done here. I, I, I do need to go in this order, right? So let me see if this would work for a trapezoid. If B This way. A, B, 70, C, D is 70. Okay, this is working out. Yeah, this is going to work out. Okay. So that's all I got. Great job, guys. See you next time. Go back.